Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to use file fonts in PyQt5. In this program I've created a push button and a label on which I've used the set font method and passed in this QFont object up here. Here in my directory you can see that I have a font file nexable.otf and if I come back to the code you can see that I've initialized this QFont object with the font name as nexable. Okay, so now let's run this and see what it looks like. We have our window here and this font is definitely not nexable. It's probably a default font which is used when it can't find the font you passed in the installed fonts. So to show this, I'm just gonna type some random stuff and run it again and it's gonna use the same font but instead of that if you use a font which is actually installed on your computer like maybe times new roman or anything you've installed it's gonna work just fine so here i've used times new roman and you can see it's no longer the same default font. So um, maybe let's try putting the file extension and try it. Okay, so that doesn't work either. Enough of this, now I'm gonna actually show you how to use a file font which is not installed on your computer. So first of all, you have to import QFont database from Qt GUI. I suppose you already imported QFont from there, or if you have imported everything, that's fine too. Alright, so after you've imported it, just go somewhere before your QFont initialization and use this method called QFont database dot add application font and then in there you have to pass in the file name or path of your font file which in my case is nexable.otf after that just make sure you know the font name because the font file name and the actual font name are not related so I'm just going to open this font file and I can see here that the font name is Nexabold, same as the font file but this is not always the case because you can always rename the font file to something much simpler but the font name is not going to change, it's just the file. So once you have that confirmed, you can go and your QFont initialization and pass in the font name which you checked. So I'm just gonna remove this .otf file extension and then if you run the program you can see that it uses the font so that means it worked. I know it's not looking good but I just did this to show you. So that's it guys, thank you for watching.